we are from Food Technology Swiss German University. This time we will talk about freeze drying. So have you ever wondered when your fruits or meats got crispy as chips but still has same color and nutritional value? Well, how's that happen? So freeze drying or lyophilization is an effective way of drying materials without harming them. Preserve the perishable wet materials such as food like fruits or meats so that it can be stored in. So, what is the principle of freeze drying? The fundamental principle in freeze drying is sublimation, the shift from a solid directly into gas. The vapor pressure diagram shows the phase transition of the substance in a graph of pressure and temperature. So the sublimation in the freeze drying process can be described simply as freeze, vacuum, and dry. The freeze. The product is completely frozen, usually in a file, flask, or tray. And the product is then placed under a deep vacuum well below the triple point of water. Heat energy is then added to the product, causing the ice to sublime. So, the next is freeze drying component. The first one is manifold called trap, heat controller, centrifuge speed dial, vacuum pump, vacuum valve, rotor, centrifuge on or off, power, refrigeration vacuum controller, condenser or filter. The next is flush. The flush is divided by three shapes. First one is normal flush, second is white neck flush, and the last one is round bottom flush. The function of flush is for sample holder. Before freeze drying the sample, the sample must be frozen beforehand. The sample must be frozen first because we want the temperature of the sample and the machine is similar, so the freeze drying process won't take long time. The sample cannot be frozen with the freeze dryer files, but with other containers. We cannot use the files because the files are too expensive, and we do not want to break the files. So, how does this freeze dryer work? First is we put the sample in the freeze dryer. The sample will be put in frozen condition between minus 50 until minus 80 degrees Celsius. The frozen sample is used to change any liquid in the sample into large ice crystal that will be easier to freeze dry in the freeze dryer. Next is freeze dryers will create vacuum in a chamber. This happens because the pressure is decreased while the temperature is increased slightly. As the sample is gradually warm, the water turns to vapor and evaporates out of the sample. This process a process called sublimation which means that the water will convert directly from ice into vapor without passing through its liquid phase. There is also a drying process in this freeze dryer. There are two steps of drying which are primary and secondary and both are used low pressure. First drying undergoes sublimation of ice while second drying uses warmer temperature to reduce residual moisture content. And this freeze dryer usually run for approximately 24 hours until the process is already complete. So here are the steps to operate the freeze dryer. Firstly, you need to turn on the UPS which is used to stabilize the electricity. After that, you can set the temperature and pressure of the freeze dryer and you can turn on the freeze dryer by pressing the start button. After that, you can put the sample inside the files and then close the lid. After that, you can make sure all the vacuum switches are in off position and then you can connect the files into the vacuum chamber and turn the knob into vertical position. And then, you can start the freeze drying process and the duration of the freeze drying process depends on the nature of the sample. And after the process is finished, then you can turn the knob into horizontal position and take out the files. And you can turn off the freeze dryer and let the ice form melt completely. 
and you cannot touch the coil until the eyes have been completely defrosted. And then you can start the cleaning process by draining the water and clean the machine thoroughly. There are a few precautions that you have to pay attention while operating freeze drying. The first one, you have to make sure that the sample is frozen for efficient processing time. And the second one, you have to make sure that the valve is in the right direction. If you want to firstly connect the file to the vacuum system, you have to turn the knob to horizontal position and then to activate the vacuum system, you have to turn the knob into the vertical position. And then, if you want to remove or release the file from the freeze dryer, you have to turn the knob to the horizontal direction like the picture below. Do not force to release the file from the freeze dryer when the knob is still in the vertical position, unless you want to break the file. You also have to follow the step orderly one by one. You have to drain the water and clean the machine after use to prevent the contamination for the next freeze drying batch. Do not touch the refrigerating coil before it is fully defrosted because it is very very cool. Otherwise, your hand or your finger will stick to the coil and become frozen. Precaution should be taken too for food samples. Consider the perfect timing on the food sample to prevent loss of taste during freeze drying. Precaution should be taken too when you want to freeze dry living cells such as bacteria. Exceed duration will rupture the cell and concentrate some component of the cell which can be toxic for the cell itself. Thank you for paying attention to our presentation. Hopefully this information can be helpful for you. Bye-bye!